So, the next thing I want to talk about is Fat Shark and Shark Bite. Now, at the start of this, I want to put this disclaimer up again that when I'm talking about Shark Bite, I am talking about the brand of product that is Shark Bite and not the HD0 system in itself. As I've just discussed, HD0 is continuing to develop. It is continuing to see new support. We're getting new modules in the new year, new VTXs, the one watts around the corner, and we're having more and more cameras all of the time. So any talk that I say that Shark Bite is dead. I don't mean the HD0 system, just the brand Shark Bite from Fat Shark. So please don't confuse the two. Now, over the last weeks and months, there's been a lot of rumblings about Fat Shark of no communications, not responding to people's support requests. As I said, when I bought the Scout HDs, which I've got in my hands here, these were PVT goggles. So they were pre a, a production verification test ones, but they've never announced that these were final production in the end. They are available, but they've never announced it, but they've still not released a manual for these goggles. You still can't download a manual when I checked. And the only support for these goggles has been from HD0 themselves. If we hop over to the Fat Shark website, they do have Shark Bite on the front. It does show it on the front of the website, but there's been no updates. There's been no support changes. So, for instance, if I go on to headsets, and if we scroll down, we can see we've got the Scout. The Scout HDs are now listed, but they're not even listed as a new product. If we go back, a new product is the Recon version 3. These are still showing us that. There's barely any specs listed. There's a couple of bits down here, but there's still no manuals for it. If we go over to the support site, we can click on Shark Bite at the top, and that takes us to all the Shark Bite bits, and they're showing that. But there's literally nothing else for it. If we go down to manuals and specs on their website, We've got down on the head shark bite section. There's firmware, but there's no manual. There's literally, and that firmware is the firmware from July, which is very, very old. If we look on HD zero side of things, which is shark bite, the manual is from, well, that is going back to April. And the firmware versions, again, is July. There's been no updates. And the last update it says on this is September 2021. There's been no changes on any of this since. Now, a lot of people have been posting questions around where is the availability currently of these Sharkbite modules? Because whilst these were on sale, it was said that it wasn't that they were clearing stock. They just wanted to help with supply and get it into more people's hands, which is fantastic. But they've gone out of stock and not been replaced. Also, the TX5M module, which is the small whoop board, hasn't been available in many places. And there's been no communication from Fat Shark at all. There's, there's literally been nothing. In the last couple of weeks, I've also seen a lot of people posting questions saying, look, I'm asking questions from Fat Shark and I'm not getting answers to them. People are not getting support requests replied to. Things have gone completely dark. At one point, Fat Shark were even doing a blog, which they've stopped, monthly blog even. Everything seems to have just come to a complete standstill with no communication. Then add on top of that, that HD0 have started to pretty much take full control back of their system now themselves. So HD0 is a brand. All of the new boards are branded HD0. They've announced that there are three new modules coming, a new replacement goggles module where they will own the plastics. Now, if you read into that, it sounds like they're saying they don't own the plastics for this one. Therefore, they can't make it. There's another module coming with a built-in analog and digital RX for race use. And there's going to be a monitor like we had on um, Bite Frost as well. But what you're seeing is all of the development coming from HD0 and nothing from Fat Shark. HD0 have continued to support 
the Scout HDs and release updates, but again, nothing from Fat Shark themselves. And all of this raises the question of what is the future of Sharkbite as a brand? Because remember, Sharkbite was the name for this HD0 system before HD0 really pushed it forward themselves. And really, is anything, or if anything, what is the future of Fat Shark themselves? Because right now, I personally cannot recommend anyone buys a set of goggles when they're not providing support for products they've already sold and they're not responding to users and they're not even providing manuals for new things that they release. So right now, my personal feeling on this all is this. As far as I am concerned, Sharkbite is dead. As a branding for a product, it is over. I will be referring to the system as HD0, and unless I see something that really makes me think, oh, okay, Fat Shark want to develop this, Sharkbite is dead, it's HD0, and that system will continue to live on through Divi Math and everything as it started. However, there are real concerns about Fat Shark in themselves, and it's very hard to recommend anyone buys a product when the manufacturer isn't responding to its users. I openly slated DJI for doing this same thing with regards to the issues on the Version 2 goggles, and I said, don't buy them. They did respond to people, and suddenly it's safe to buy the product when we know they're fixing issues. However, you're having people on Sharkbite not getting their goggles fixed, or at least they're not getting responding to e responses to emails. We've got no manuals for certain products and no hint of where the future is. So if I was looking at getting a set of goggles right now, I would be looking at Skyzone or the others. If I was looking to get a set of goggles for HD0, I would be happy to recommend the Scouts simply because HD0 is still providing the firmware. However, if you're looking for the best goggles, I would be avoiding the HDO2s and buying the O4Xs from Skyzone because at least we know there is some future there with how they have behaved in the past and the fact that I've seen no complaints from people at all about getting responses, no complaints about the products at all. You do also have to wonder where the future lies for Sharkbite as well, or Fat Shark even, because Red Cat bought Fat Shark some time ago as a company. I don't really believe Fat Shark had any real individual IP or their own specific product that they could market off other than their brand. You know, their goggles were using LCD screens, DVR that anyone can make, and there's nothing in a set of Fat Shark goggles anyone else can't do, and hence the reason Skyzone have been so successful at providing alternative products. So where they have to be careful is this. What they have is a brand, a brand that is well known in FPV, but we all know brands can be destroyed really quickly. Just ask FR Sky, especially if they start messing the community and users about. And that seems to be where the situation is with Fat Shark right now. Personally, I would only recommend buying, say, Skies and O4Xs if you're looking for OLED or even the O3s. Um, until we understand more. There was talk of Fat Shark making a proper high-end set of HD Zero goggles. These were never meant to be them. These were the budget ones. You know, these are cheap. There was meant to be a HD03 equivalent, yet there's no talk of it, there's no comments of it, and we just don't know what's going on. We, I could be wrong on all of this, and Fat Shark could be around and they could suddenly drop a, a bunch of great products. And if that happens, brilliant. Go check them out. However, right now, the company feels like it's a bit in free fall and it's really hard to recommend a company's products when you don't know where the future lies for the company, especially after a buyout. And that's what we've seen. We've seen Red Cat purchase them. Things change. 
no communication, support requests not being answered, and people starting to get left in the luge. So right now, as far as I've concerned, as I've said, Sharkbite is dead. Long live HD Zero as a brand. The system continues. You can still get everything, and Carl's going to have the bits in the new year. However, as for Fat Shark, things remain fluid, to say the least, leaning on I would be looking at other brands. 